What is going on everybody? Jordan here with the deck box coming back to you today with a super fun deck list. Uh, I'm really, really excited to show this off for you guys. I actually tried recording this a couple days ago, didn't turn my mic on, so kind of messed up there. But the great news, if you look down here in the, let's see, let's point this way bottom left on your screen we have a brand new logo uh, so I'm super super excited for that uh, we've been able to update the channel get the logo in get that up and going uh, we also have a new Facebook page for the channel I'll be posting all of our videos to there so you can find them there if I have other news updates for the channel or something going on I'll post those there uh, it is facebook.com uh, slash the deck box TCG. It'll take you straight to the page. Please be sure to like and follow that. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, help you keep up with any additional news to the channel. Um, you know, as far as posting, not posting. And again, all of our videos will be posted on there whenever they come out as well. So I'm super excited for that. I uh, actually have the intro and outro video being commissioned. Uh, it's already in the works. Should be done by next Wednesday, hoping for that. Uh, so sometime later next week we'll have that video so it will replace, you know, kind of my old school papery intro. Uh, I'm really, really excited. The guy does really good work, uh, so I'm excited to see what he has for us. But now that we're past that, uh, we're going to look at this fun list. Uh, and you're probably looking at it and wondering, why Rampardos? Why is Rampardos in your list? Um, I'm going to explain why. Because it's fun and it's good. Uh, I have not had this type of win ratio with any deck in a while. Um, I think in all the testing I've done with it, which uh, it's probably like 20 games at this point. Uh, I've been playing it for a few days. Um, I think I've lost two or three. Two or three games. Um, and I'm talking I've been down 6-2 and come back and won many, many games. Um, and a lot of the games haven't even been close whenever I win. It, it's just insane. So I'm going to run through this list. I'm going to explain how it works. And then uh, I'm going to play it for you. Hopefully it performs as well as I just described it as. But um, we're going to hop right in. Basically, this is a Buzzwall core. Okay, We do run three Buzzwall. Uh, you know, what's great is you pair this with Rampardos. It gives you the early pressure. But it also gives you a massive GX attack and massive... Um, secondary attack if for some reason that's your option during the game depends on what weakness you're going against buzzwall and rampardos have different weaknesses whereas buzzwall has psychic weakness rampardos has grass weakness so that kind of helps as well and they do very different things like i said buzzwall adds some early pressure so you can do that while you set up your rampardos it's not the easiest thing to set up but it's very very possible with this list um, and so that's why i run the three buzzwall to get things started early on and then we do run a 1-1 one, one Lycanroc line, and this is mainly for Bloodthirsty Eyes. That's really the main purpose of it, uh, to get that you know spicy little knockout here or there. But it's also, you could use this as an attacker if you need to. If it's a better GX attack than Buzzwalls, depending on the situation, then use this one. Honestly, in all the games I've played, never once used him as an attacker. It was always to take a nice knockout. Um, so... <laughs> Really good inclusion in this. Like I said, you can use it to attack, but it's really just there for bloodthirsty eyes. Then from there, we play... i got to do this line right. So two unidentified fossil, one Kranidos, two Rampardos. I just did a thin line for now. I wanted to try this out see how it works. Uh, it's more of a tech than anything, but it's a tech that makes this deck just insanely good. Uh, so if you don't know what Rampardos does, basically it's a stage 2, 150 HP fighting Pokemon. has two attacks, and they do very different things. First one... Clean hit does 60 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, excuse me, this attack does 60 more damage. One fighting energy. So what's great about that is once you get this evolved, it's a, it's a fast setup. Um, and typically you'll know at the start of a game whether or not you're going against a, an evolution deck or a basic deck. If it's an evolution deck, you know just to attach one energy and you're fine with Rampardos. If it's a basic deck, then you're going to go in and use your max elixirs. You're going to set up the next attack, which is Wild Crash. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic, it's knocked out. Pretty plain and simple. So you got to look at these attacks. They're very different. The first one, it's going to two-shot pretty much any stage two, stage one, any evolution Pokemon in the game. It's going to two-shot it. But if you're paying attention, what is it one-shot? Zoroarks for one energy. Just one shots them. Uh, it gives up one prize. That's the best part about this is it gives up one prize and one shots um, 
Zoroarks and it doesn't have the caveat that Buzzwall has where you can't attack the next turn. Um, so that's a huge, huge advantage. Then if you're looking at Wild Crash, it just comes out there and just, whatever it is, it's knocked out. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter if it has resistance, weakness, it's knocked out. Um, so you're able to cater Rampardos to whatever deck you're playing against. Okay, if, uh, for example, like I said, uh, a minute ago I was playing against Zorark Decidueye and um, I used Clean Hit. That was my focus with Rampardos. It was an all evolution deck. But I've gone up against quite a few um, Ho-Oh decks, uh, which have given Buzzwell some trouble for me in the past. And I get Rampardo set up, and I just use Wild Crash, and I knock out three Ho-Oh, and it's GG. Um, so you get to determine early on what you're going to do, how you're going to set it up. So I'm really happy with this line so far. I will tell you this, I am also going to be recording another Rampardos video where I've paired it with some other Pokemon and so far it's working very well. Um, so I'm really excited to try this card out some more. Uh, I think Rampardos is a cool Pokemon. The fossil Pokemon get really overlooked, and so I'm trying to use them as much as I can. So that's why we're, we're using this guy. Then we have two Tapu Lele for the Wonder Tag ability. Obviously we want to be able to get our supporters, our Bridgets. Quick note, um, Bridget will not get, uh, where is it? Bridget will not get Unidentified Fossil out because it is an item until it's played, um, so it will not get that out, sadly. Uh, we have other ways to get it out, it's not a big deal. Bridget's just there to get your Buzzwall, your uh, Remoraid, your Rockruff, things like that. I've noticed it hasn't been very uncommon for me to get two Remoraid out, which is awesome, because we, we do run a 2-2 Octillery line. Uh, so it's very common for me to get my Remoraids out and to get two Octillery going in a game, and this helps me to dig for my fossils to set up, which is great. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about not being able to bridge it for fossil. A lot of times you might open with one and we have other ways to get it as well. Excuse me, from there we have our items. We run one field blower. Uh, really the only abilities we have, I guess, are Octillery, Lele, and Lycanroc. They're not essential to the deck. Uh, they're more about setup and potentially taking a nice knockout with Lycanroc. Um, but we do just run one. We run puzzles in this list, so running one ofs is very common and it's not a huge deal. It's not going to hurt us. And from there, as I mentioned before, we do run Max Elixir, uh, four of them, uh, and that's to set up Buzzwall, to set up uh, Mister or Unidentified Fossil, either one. Uh, so that is something to note. You can Max Elixir onto Unidentified Fossil, because like I said, once it's put into play, it's considered a basic Pokemon. So keep that in mind, uh, and that's how we set it up quickly before we evolve it, if possible. Then we play one multi-switch. If for some reason we have to uh, use an Elixir, but our active needs an uh, and energy then we can use multi-switch or if you know putting a strong energy from the bench onto the active will will take a nice knockout we use multi-switch it's really great to just come in and, uh, and set up these big Pokemon that normally take some time to set up but multi-switch makes it possible to do it faster uh, then order pad so this is a card that's not used very often right now um, we chose to play this um, over playing Skyla for a few reasons, I'll explain those in a minute. Uh, but anyway, what this card does, flip a coin, if head, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, the reason I chose to play this over Skyla is Rampardos is not the core of the deck. Uh, it's a very large portion of it, but it's not the core. If it doesn't get set up, you're not going to lose the game. Um, so doing it by a coin flip is okay to get the unidentified fossil, to get the rare candy, things like that. Um, plus, I didn't want... <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't want to use a Skyla to set this thing up if I didn't have to. I'd much rather use my Cynthia's, my Ends, my Sycamores to dig through items and uh, set things up. So if I can use something like an item to go search out uh, Fossil or Rare Candy to set up, I'd much rather do that than play a Supporter. So that's why I run two of those. And then as I mentioned, something's wrong with my mouse, uh, we do run four Puzzle of Time. This allows us to get many things back. Mainly though, we can get our fossils back. You can't get fossils back with a rescue stretcher. Again, it's an item, so it works a little differently. So you get that back, you get rare candies, <coughs> items, other Pokemon, supporters, whatever you want. Uh, puzzles is great in this list. <coughs> Excuse me guys, sorry about that. Then obviously we run two rare candy just to be able to go straight from unidentified fossil into Rampardos and be set up quickly. And then for Ultra Ball, uh, again, we cannot search for an unidentified fossil with this, excuse me. Uh, so that's kind of a downside, but obviously we're searching for things like Buzzwall, Rockruff, uh, 
Lycanroc, all of our Pokemon, mainly Octillery and Lele is what we're going to be using that for. Um, and that's why we run four of them. And I've already mentioned the two Fossil. Then we do run one Parallel City. This is great to pull up um, like a Lele, leave all the core Pokemon on the bench. Uh, parallel. Uh, so they have to get rid of some important stuff and then use your imparters to take down the Lele. So they're down to just three Pokemon uh, and they've lost some of their, their key Pokemon. So really great card in this list. Then we run two Bridget. This is just to get our you know Buzzwalls, Rockruff, Remoraid, as I mentioned before. Then for draw support, we have three Cynthia, two N, and one Sycamore. I'm finding that this is a, a good line. I'm just not realizing something. I have the Full Art Sycamore, and if I'm running one, then I'm just going to do that. Uh, but anyway, I found that uh, this draw supporter line, the 3-2-1, it's been working really well for me in lists that run puzzles, uh, because it's obviously not a huge deal if, um, if I run low counts, because I'm able to cycle through them, use them again. So running just the six is fine, and uh, it seems to be a well-balanced uh, list. Then we run two Guzma. Again, normally I would run three, maybe four, but we have puzzles, so two is appropriate, and so far so good with it. Then for tools, we have two Choice Band and one Floatstone. Typically we would run more Choice Band, but really the only time we want to use Choice Band is just kind of with Buzzwall. Um, I've used a Choice Band once on Rampardos. It was really nice. Uh, uh, Glaceon had been hit for 30 from Buzzwall and Rampardos with a strong energy... No. Yeah, strong energy choice ban on clean hit was able to do exactly 170 to knock out the Glaceon. So it was a really spi spicy knockout, but it's not very common that you're going to use choice ban with Rampardos because most time you're going to two shot or you're going to take down Zoroarks or big basics. Uh, so really, the choice ban's just there for Buzzwall. And then, of course, the one flip stone is to get a, uh, a Lycanroc or an Octillery out of the active that we don't want there. And again, we have. A, a, we run puzzles, we can get it back, it's not a huge deal, and so far we haven't had any issues. Then we run four strong energy, uh, that's mainly more important for Buzzwall than it is for Impardos. Again, it could be necessary uh, with some spicy knockouts with Rampardos, but so far we're good with it. Uh, I may consider cutting this down to two and adding two more fighting energy to make my elixirs hit more often, uh, but for now I'm going to leave it like this for you guys, just to show you how it works, and we do run eight fighting energy. So that is the list, uh, and now we're going to go try it out. I'm, I'm super excited to show you guys this. Um, yes, I want to. Oh no, I discarded the changes, so we don't have the Sycamore. Whatever. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> we don't have the full art Sycamore. So now we're going to hop on the ladder. Uh, I'm going to grab just a couple games with this and uh, see how it goes. Like I said, we're going to be catering it to um, to whatever our opponent is playing, you know, uh, as far as how our Ramparos is set up. This looks like a um, Vikabulu list, which is actually one I have not played against. Um, but I'm thinking that this would be a good time to use Rampardos uh, and its Wild Crash. We will, of course, oh, what a horrible start, other than the fact we do have Bridget, so that's okay. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say is what we can do is we can use Buzzwell to put on some early pressure while we set up Rampardos, or if we get set up fast enough, we could actually just use Buzzwall to take care of things. And it's actually not a Vikabulu, it runs a Trubbish, so um, that would actually be... Um, we're not going to do that, we're going to grab two Remoraid, we're going to dig. Um, it's going to be the Galissapod Garbodor. So we'll see how this matchup goes. Um, so instead of using um, Wild Crash to take down big basics, we will be two-shotting Galissapods, except most likely not because uh, we of course have weakness to Galissapod with our Rampardos. So Rampardos may actually set this one out for a bit, but that's fine. Um, the great thing is if we do get a Rampardos set up, it does one-shot a Garbodor, so that's always an option, uh, as, as opposed to using a big two-prize GX to take down a Garbodor, we could just use Rampardos. I uh, imagine we're going to see a Bridget come down here to set things up for our opponent. And uh, he's just matching us here. Alright, so Lele for his Bridget. And, uh, let's see. I mean, I could easily just come out and start taking knockouts this next turn. I would rather see a Guzma, though. The problem is we... Um, 
I mean, if we get a Guzma, that means we're not getting an energy, so we're not taking a knockout. So. Alright, we see Bridget. Probably gonna grab two Wimpod and a Trubbish, I would imagine. Uh, really no reason not to do that. Okay, never mind, you mixed it up. Mewtwo, Wimpod, and Coco. Of course, Mewtwo is going to be trying to take down Buzzwall, um, so we need to target that as soon as we can. Don't want that to cause too many problems for us. Um, let's see. Attach a Choice Band here. We'll attach a Float Stone. We'll end. I know that helps our opponent a little bit, but it's our best option. We get Unidentified Fossil, so that's good news. We have an Ultra Ball, so we can um, grab an Octillery. Uh, let's see here. We will do this and this. And we will grab Octillery. Um, now, I want to uh, leave the Buzzwall. I would rather get a strong energy on it to one shot Galissapods. Alright, so, uh, what does Double Puzzle get me? Nothing right now. Not really. I mean, we can Max Elixir, but that's, like I said, we want to get the strong energy. Uh, so I think we leave that the way it is. I'll start sniping here. Uh, and I guess if I snipe the Wimpod, then it won't matter if I have a strong energy on or not. Uh, the main reason I could see getting Rampardos set up completely for Wild Crash is just to knock out a Lele, but if I have Buzzwall out, then it's set up to knock out a Lele. The, really, the only way I would set up a Rampardos is to have a backup attacker in case Buzzwall gets knocked out, um, which is, of course, very possible. And something we have to pay attention to is our items. If they are playing Trash Lynch, that could cause us some serious, serious problems um, because this list just blows through items like crazy. Uh, obviously with two of our Pokemon essentially being items, we have to watch out for that. <clears throat> so what's he swinging for right now? 60, 120, so he's not one-shotting our Boswell. Um, even if he got a choice ban, he'd only be up to 180, so it was smart of us not to put the energy on. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that choice. They don't know that we have, yep, they don't know that we have puzzles and a max elixir. So I'm just going to grab an energy and I'll be able to knock out Galissapod. Um, and I'll elixir onto Unidentified Fossil. Start setting that up for a wild crash. Okay, he's using Mewtwo, of course. Didn't even think about that. As opposed to Galissapod. <coughs> hmm, how do I want to play this? Let's see what we got in here. So we have Elixir, we have... Doo -doo -doo. So he's gonna be... Let's play this down. I know he's just gonna get rid of Lele, but it's gonna prevent his bench from building up more, getting another Lele down. We'll play these two. There we go. Oh, nope. I'm gonna grab the Elixir. Could grab the Ultra Ball and dump to Cynthia, grab Octillery. Or rather dump a Cynthia and a Sycamore, grab Octillery. I think I like that option better. <coughs> uh, first we'll get Octillery out of here. The only reason I'm dumping the Sycamore over a double Cynthia is so that I can use Octillery, then Cynthia, then potentially use Octillery again. That's kind of the goal to be able to dig. Um, actually, what I'd like to do is get a Guzma Energy, take down Galissapod, as opposed to having to beat down this Mewtwo right now. Got another Elixir. And... Let's see here. Hmm. 
part of me wants to use order pad. I'm gonna dump order pad and Cynthia. Um, Cause I will need another buzzwall set up. <clears throat> and then I'll be able to use my second octillery to dig for the energy to get onto the active. We have Guzma to retreat to Lele, retreat back and take down Golisopod. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Uh, but we have the elixir so we could risk it for that, which I guess I should have done this before. Let's give this a shot. Alright, here's hoping. Nope, missed it. That was uh, not a smart play there that I just did. Um, get rid of the float stone so he can't do any crazy plays. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we can poke the active and something else. Uh, poking U2 is kind of pointless. I'll go for Trubbish. Because once we're able to attack Mewtwo, it'll be a one-shot, whatever it is that gets it. The good thing is we still have our Cynthia set up, so we could use Cynthia. And we have, man, we've gotten rid of two of those, a Sycamore and an N. So we're, we're down to just two draw supporters, one Cynthia, one N. Uh, so kind of pushing it there. Uh, we've actually gone through most of our decks. So we got to be very careful. The thing that you notice about this deck is near the end is when it's just going to start taking its prizes uh, all at once. Pretty rapid fire. Um, so hopefully that's what we can see happen here. Uh, hopefully this deck doesn't just absolutely uh, wipe us clean. So far my opponent hasn't done anything though. I would imagine if he had some sort of play, he would have made it by now. Um, maybe Floatstone to use Mewtwo to knock it out, or a DCE to knock out the active, or something. Uh, but we're not seeing that yet. So, I'm, I'm optimistic. The good thing is, with... Oh, and he just passes. He didn't even attack me for 30. That's uh, it's really surprising. Uh, let's Abyssal Hand once, see what we got coming. Mm -hmm. We got rare candy. That doesn't help us much. Um, so we'll just use Cynthia now. Alright, so we get an energy, we get rare candy rampardo, so that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we can do. Let's do this. It's elixir. Nope. That's fine. Um, we'll attach this to this guy. Let's do that. And then we'll move one from Rampardos, because we don't necessarily need that right this second. And we can shrink up our hand by doing that. So we now have three things kind of set up, uh, potentially. We could order pad for another elic or for another puzzle. But I don't know what I'd grab with it right this second. I think I hold on to that. I like our position. We're gonna take a knockout. Um, and then yes, Buzzwell will be knocked out afterwards. So maybe I do order pad for it. Let's try something. Let's do this. Nope, missed it. Okay, so it didn't matter. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take this. Well, yeah, I feel like I need to take it. I need to take that knockout. Like I said, he's gonna he's gonna take down uh, my buzzwall with a Mewtwo. That's fine. Let's see, we got these prizes energy, which is great because once he knocks us out, we'll just use Wild Crash on Rampardos. We'll knock out the Mewtwo, and then he's got a Trubbish and a, a Coco. So, and maybe another Glissopod, you know, if he sends out a Wimpod this turn. Maybe. Uh, but he's having a hard time, er, she, sorry, is having a hard time uh, really doing much right now. And I don't know why they're hesitating. They definitely need to put Coco out there. That's, I mean, free retreat, just kind of the obvious choice. Or just Mewtwo, because you, you know you're probably going to take the knockout with Mewtwo. Um, and I hope they haven't just walked away from their computer and just letting it stall, because that's no fun. I mean, we take those, but... Alright, so Trubbish comes up. I wonder if they have Garbodor and Trash Lynch, which if they do, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we'll still knock them out with Rampardos. Um, one, two... 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, <laughs> 12, 13. And like I said, items like crazy. We've, we've blown through, you know, 50 of 60 of our cards, which is fine. That's to be expected. I really hope they didn't just get up from their computer, because that's what it's starting to seem like. Let's see if we can wake them up. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't even know. All right, let's see. I guess we... We'll set up Rampardos. Why not? We'll jet punch to do the knockout. Just do it that way. Got a strong energy. That's good. Just in case they do get anything set up. If they do anything the rest of this game, who knows? I mean, I feel like we kind of had it anyway, but they're making it easier for us by not putting you two up and, and taking Buzzwall. You know, like I said, Rampardos would have taken care of it but they're just kind of not doing anything. Come on. All right, well Mewtwo's coming up now. Let's see what they do. I mean, if you walk away from a match, you still lose. Seems like that's exactly what they've done. Well, we're still gonna take this win, for sure. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna let it pass by. Victory. All right. So there we go. There's enough passes. Oh. It's kind of moved. Let's see. All right. So we're gonna grab another game, and we're gonna see if our opponent actually sticks around the whole time. Um, because I want you guys to actually see Rampardos do something. And they got, I don't know if they got scared or what. So, Alright. I really want to see, I don't know, I want to see either a big basic deck or a Zorark deck. So, uh, so you guys can see some of that awesomeness. There's nothing better than just one-shotting a Zorark for one energy, it just feels so good. Very satisfying feeling. All right, so we have a match. And it's, okay, it's gonna be some sort of Volcanian. Uh, like I said, we've gone up against a lot of Ho-Ho's and it's not an easy matchup because they kind of speed through things and we speed through things as well. It's just about who hits what they need to hit. And if we get Rampardos, then we're in a much better spot. And that's the difficulty. So we got a Bridget, we get Order Pads, so we can probably get um, a uh, Unidentified Fossil. So that's actually really good uh, opening hand there. As long as we don't get End out of it, then we're in a decent spot. We have Elixir, we have Energy, so we can start setting things up. And they have a Lele start, which is great for us. They get their Nest Ball, so they're going to get some Pokemon down. And it's the Ho-Oh. See those rainbows. Uh, we will use their Brooklyn Hill. We can actually just straight fill our bench, um, which I know is not always like the best thing to do because then um, you leave out room for a Lele. But really, this deck, once you get your stuff set up, you don't need Lele because you get your artilleries and you kind of breeze through things. He's going to have Ho O -Oh set up, which is not good for us. Alright. So, oh man, we just got everything. I would have preferred that be something else. Alright, so we missed that. That's fine. We will bridge it. We will grab two Buzzwall. Not three. Uh, hmm. I think I just grab it. He's probably going to end up knocking out one of them. <clears throat> Which is why I will 
spread the energy. I'm not going to put it all into one. And I am going to set up my next turn with a puzzle. I know that's kind of odd too. Perfect. So there we go. We'll do that. We'll get an N. And we'll set up some more. And we'll use this and we'll grab our rock rough. We'll fill her up. Because we know we have a draw supporter ready to go. Um, so as long as they don't just totally go off, then we should be fine. Okay, so they play an end of their own. That's fine. I know we wasted a puzzle doing that, but um, it just seemed like the right thing to do. All right, we get more energy. We get multi-switch, which is good. We get N. I would love, love a Guzma. That would just be amazing. Guzma or Elixir, because um, they're probably going to bring Ho-Oh up. And when they do, we'll just knock it out. Actually, no, I don't even need that. They're going to knock out Remoraid. I'm going to bring up a Buzzwall, attach a strong energy, multi-switch, and knock out Ho-Oh. And then they're kind of starting over. And we'll have an attack ready to go. Um, and we get an Elixir. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. There we go. I'll spread it again, even though one of them's going to move off anyway. Now you get to see the strength of um, multi-switch, which we've all seen. You know, we're not surprised anymore at that. Uh, we're going to get rid of their uh, Brooklyn Hill. We'll attach the choice band. We're actually hitting for 290 right now with that resistance. We'll get another elixir. Man, and the elixirs are just on fire. We're going to actually start putting them onto one buzz wall now. Uh, it's kind of a bummer we don't have um, a Rampardo set up or even going yet, which really kind of stinks. Um, but you're seeing this list is consistent, you know, whether or not it hits that. Uh, we have our Lycanroc, so let's see. What do we want to take out? Okay, so I guess Ente. <laughs> Six and one, half dozen the other. We're about to have a second Buzzwell set up. So it's like, we take this next knockout, whatever they bring up, we're gonna knock it out. Um, and we're gonna be able to knock out what we wanna knock out. So we're in good shape. So yeah, they're trying to set up their Ente, so that's what we knock out. Plus it has, you know, a, a big sniping GX attack. Figure that's the best option. They're playing a weird fire deck. Okay. <clears throat> and now they're just chilling. people quit walking away from your computers or whatever you're doing play me okay there we go all right let's do this and I'm going to use Lycanroc to take down Entei. Just keep him from even setting that up. Don't even want it to be an option. And we're down to just two prizes. So at this point, you're not going to see Rampardos come up in this match. There's an Identified Fossil. That's good. Um, but I know I said we grabbed two. I'm going to grab a third game for sure because uh, it's been a pretty short video and we haven't really seen Rampardos. We, got, we saw it set up, but we didn't get a chance to use it because uh, it was unnecessary in that match. Because the deck sets up really well, but I've never seen it set up 
this fast and this well and my opponent just be kind of stalled um, I've also I've played against a lot of the Ho-Oh decks and they kind of played it wrong they should have just waited to Guzma me or something instead of bringing it up to take down a Remoraid when I very well had a chance to bring up a Buzzwall and just knock it out so um, kind of a misplay on their part <coughs> And yeah, now they scoop. They realize that. All right, we're gonna grab one last game, and we better get Rampardos up, or I'll be really bummed. Um, just got some chests here. We'll open those at the end of the video. And yeah, so I actually finished like most of the first ladder by playing this deck using Rampardos and now, you know, kind of going through the second. So I'm really happy with how this deck's going. I may take it to a cup just to have some fun. Uh, so Water Psychic, Greninja, Empoleon, wouldn't want to see either one. Uh, the good news is with a strong energy, um, Rampardos would one shot um, a Greninja. Not a break, but a Greninja. And here we see, uh, well, we have Unidentified Fossil, which is good. I could Order Pad, and if I hit it, grab an Ultra Ball uh, to get a Lele to get a Bridget and set up the rest of it. I don't think that would be a bad option. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just see what our options are once we get started. So Glaci, I can't remember, is it? Uh, evolution Pokemon can't hit it. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be like a water box deck. Water box deck. Um, so we're gonna play that down. Let's order pad. See if we hit it. We do. Uh, let's see what's in our deck. So we got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. I could just get another unidentified fossil. And go crazy with it. Uh, but evolution Pokemon is gonna cause problems. Um, so we prized a ch choice band. Yeah, we prized a choice band. Um, prized our Lycanroc, prized one Rampardos, prized a Bridget, prized a Cynthia, prized an Energy, so not bad. Alright, so I, I like my original plan, Ultra Ball, get Lele and start setting things up, especially if they're playing Glaceon. Um, Rampardos, you know, even though it can one-shot those, uh, it could be kind of problematic. Um, do I dump Remoraid? Or do I dump? I know I dump Field Blower. But do I dump Guzma or Remoraid? I think Remoraid because I can Guzma with the um, Buzzwall that I'll be getting down and start taking some hits that way. If they get another Pokemon out, that's the, the main thing. But I think that's a good thing to count on. Grab Bridget. And again, I am going to spread the energy. Uh, I'm going to elixir to the unidentified fossil if if I hit it. Uh, and we'll need this guy to get around uh, that attack. So I like that set up there. And we missed the elixir this time. Okay, that's fine. Get that. And there we go. Uh, what I would love to see would be an Octillery, and then off that Octillery get like our Floatstone and some other stuff to set up. Uh, I think that would be a really solid way to start uh, this off. I want to actually see a match go though. Alright, we got an end. That's, uh, I'll take it. Uh, I must have a bad hand, didn't want to dump it. Or couldn't dump it. Alright, so we got Elixir. We got a Kranidos, which is good. We got multi switch. See a crushing hammer. Wait a minute. I thought he hit it. Uh, okay. Kind of blazing through pretty fast here. Um, okay, good. And then we have our Rampardo set up to go. Let's do this first. We hit it this time, that's good news. Um, be able to evolve. And we will pass. I would love, love to top deck a Guzma, because we can Guzma up 
the glycine before it's done anything and um, evolve to Rampardos, multi-switch from the Buzzwall to Rampardos and do the one shot with Wild Crash so you guys get to see that. That would be awesome to see. Uh, we're getting it set up pretty quickly this time around. Um, and really, I guess the way to do that, we Ultra Ball away the Unidentified Fossil and whatever we top deck, depending on what we top deck. Um, and uh, yeah, then use Octillery to dig, dig, dig. So, all right, now we see Glaceon GX, um, which really doesn't cause any problems for us. Not yet, anyway. See Octillery and Ninetales. All right. Oh, that's a puzzle. I don't want to dump a puzzle, but... Yeah, I'm going to. We know I, I like to dig. All right, so what am I trying to hit? I'm trying to hit um, Guzma, really, and or Floatstone. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Nope, didn't get it this time, that's fine. Um, do you get energy? We'll set this guy up. We will attach. We'll attach the choice band of this guy. So we could come up with some spicy stuff. I'm not going to do that yet. I will Cynthia, as much as I hate doing that. We get pretty much the same hand back, except now we get our Guzma. That's fine. So we'll use that next turn. We'll be patient. Because uh, we know they're going to bring out Octillery, they're going to bring out Nine Tails. that's fine. We're going to bring up Rampardos, one shot their Glaceon, um, and then from there just keep taking knockouts. Uh, he can also get around the uh, Luminous Barrier, he can one shot a Nine Tails. he can one shot Octillery, um, he can one shot Lele. So we're in a great spot actually, because Rampardos is, for all, in, uh, for all pr practical purposes, he's set up and Buzzwall as well. And actually, hmm, let me think here. 121, 41, 60, 80. Well, if I still had the choice ban, I could actually attach Strong Energy, Guzma up the Glaceon GX, multi-switch a Strong Energy from Buzzwall to Rampardos, and choice ban swinging for 210 on an evolved Pokemon kind of overkill but it would be fun it would be fun no we have Potown and he just got his Glaceon set up and this is gonna be awesome because I'm just like who cares uh, so give me that okay thanks we're gonna get to see it um, gonna get rid of this I know he's gonna just get rid of Lele that's fine um, really not a big deal I'm not scared of nine tails I'm really not scared of artillery I may not help him draw but um, I'll be able to get rid of the other stuff very easily I'm going to float stone um, anything that would order pad for I guess I might as well because I don't need it anymore really since I have the unidentified fossil and everything taken care of all right I'm gonna just take a knockout just plain and simple that's all it is and it's awesome you just take those two prizes and move on um, so there we go we have stuff we can dump if we get ultra balls um, all right so he's bringing out Glaceon like he's gonna do something uh, the good news is we still have our GX which is swinging for 160 but we have we'll have two strong energy on Buzzwall so 180 200 one shots Glaceon, we'll just retreat Rampardos out, not a big deal. Or we could use Guzma again if they really want to give up another Glaceon EX. That's what I'll do. I'll Guzma, bring up Octillery, retreat, um, and take another two prizes. Heads, all right, what are you dumping? That's fine. Okay, okay. Let's 
Let's see a sycamore there. What I think I'll do is I'll actually multi-switch the basic energy from Buzzwall to Rampardos because you don't really need strong energy when you're just one-shotting no matter what. Put this strong energy onto the Buzzwall, Guzma, and then get the Lele and just knock it out, take two easy prizes. I think that would be a good use of that while Buzzwall's still getting set up. Um, or I could hold, yeah, I think I hold the multi-switch for now, save it for a little bit more clutch play. And then we use Guzma. Yep. Gotta make sure I was doing that appropriately. We will retreat. Bring up Rampardos. And just take another. And he scoops. See, I mean, it just. Oh, it just ticks people off. Uh, it, it's kind of an annoying deck once you get Rampardos set up. But that means you're doing it right. If you're getting four win streak just tonight since I've been playing, um, obviously three on camera. Um, for you guys this deck is is good it's weird but it's it's good I know the first person kind of stopped playing but we saw we had it uh, it was set up and ready to go uh, they would have at least taken two prizes against us but we still would have had those games it's not updating my stats though which really upsets me but uh, it's, it's so good it, it's it's such a fun deck uh, and so good uh, so please take this list build it for yourself let me know if it works as well for you as it does for me uh maybe you've messed with rampardos i know some people on facebook uh kind of talked about it um it's a fun deck i'm gonna build it irl and i'm gonna take it to league and have some fun and maybe a, a challenge or even a cup because uh, i think it's that good it's essentially a buzzwall deck with speed but you add this just enormous power with rampardos and you just take these nasty knockouts um very smooth flowing deck uh Everything kind of has its purpose and it works well together. There's no cards that you draw into and you're like, oh man, I hate this. Because you can just dump them if you need to. It's not a huge deal. Um, so yeah, really solid deck. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm going to keep playing it um, and, and get really, really good at playing around Pardos. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, I'll probably be recording another Rampardos video here soon uh, for you guys because I want to explore this card a little bit more, uh, see if it's just some hype I'm getting right now or if it's actually going to be a good card. So guys, as usual, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, it really helps me out. Hit me up in the comments. Say hi. I don't say anything. I don't care. Just, just say hi in the comments. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video, and I'll keep putting out this content for you. And as usual, if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do that uh, while also sharing this channel with your friends. Uh, we're definitely growing here, and I really, really appreciate that, guys. Uh, also, last thing, go check out the Facebook page page uh, facebook.com slash the deck box tcg and hit me up on twitter at j3t8lak that's all i have for you guys today but uh thank you so much for joining me and as usual i've been jordan with the deck box where i want to know what is in your box have a great day guys